Alright, we are back in another episode of the Legacy of the Vikings! The Vikings! Where we, as today, we fought, we're fighting with our fellow Baltic members of the Teutonic Order, the Liverian Order, Livonian? Livonian Order, and Lithuania against our mortal enemies, the Bohemians. Even though they're not mortal enemies, they're just enemies of the times, but still, we'll consider it a mortal enemies. And we just finished up coring some of this stuff. That's excellent. Now it's time to. Go is not Catholic. Oh, I have I have to first get. Oh, I see. I guess it's like a specific order you have to do this in. So we're gonna first convert this to Catholicism, and we're gonna slowly but surely get these guys all back in our order. Um, right now we have almost completely crushed all Bohemian threats, and right now the men are just spreading out their troops. I mean, it's really not. This is really not much of a war, if I must be honest with you. It's really just us just kind of clinging and destroying everything. Um, we could honestly gain some land from it, but do I want any? Not really. <laughs> That's, I'll be honest with myself, I don't really want any land from this, and it wouldn't really help me at all. It's just kind of like, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so we have 101 ducats. I'm going to build some more stuff. Let's build some local trade modifiers. Or should I build some more forts? Armies would also be pretty nice. Hmm. I know we have a good amount of majority level 2s. I'm going to build a level 2 fort right here. Just so that we have a good defensive mu measure when... And if we have to go to war against somebody more powerful than us. A build more trade modifiers right here. Okay. Let's get back to this. Ah, oh, man. Our power. Our power, guys. We have got to be one of the ranked powers right now. Because we are just so big. Alright. And right now, we have our, we just finished up our, our coring event for Novgorod, Novgorod. So what I'm thinking is that once this land is reconquered by them, I'm just going to instantly declare war and just sweep in and take all that by myself with no other of my allies around. And Teutonic Order, you better like me a lot more because I just did a major war for you guys. So, like, don't you dare ever not say you're not going to join in. Yeah, please, spawn. I'd love to see if you guys are going to spawn. Oh, they did spawn. Oh, shoot, I don't have my... I don't have my... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. Forgot one thing about this. Okay. Kill them all! Kill them! Kill them all! Good job. You killed them all. Ah! Why, Comet? Why? Oh, that event, that event, everyone. The comet coming is just, like, terrible. It's like a terrible event. Okay, let's boost stability. Let's get back to this. Okay, so I'm hoping whatever died is easily able to fix itself because I'm about to go to war with Novgorod, Novgorod which is going to take me a little bit of army, but probably should be fine. Yeah, it seems like you guys are mainly just taking over as much as you please. Yeah, so Burgundy and Bohemia versus all of this. Dang, this is actually more of a good, a better alliance than I thought it was. They have in total 12,000 troops. We have in total 44,000 troops. Yeah, we're going to win this pretty handily, if I must if I must be honest with you. <laughs> there, was, there was just not much hope for them. Just not much hope. Hey, would you like an alliance, guys? Hansa? I wouldn't mind forming an alliance with you guys. Seriously, you guys would seem like someone that would... Hmm... Basically what I'm saying guys is that these guys would help me out a lot if I had to deal with a, you know, major... Hmm. Can you give royal marriages? That's that's really where that's really where it's at. Can you give royal marriages? They lack a monarchy. Okay, no. Then no, I don't want formula lines for you guys. <laughs> I really need that royal marriage thing. Okay. Hi Novgorod! Bye Novgorod! Let's take Alice. Probably not gonna join in. Oh, they could all join in. Well, I'm not really ready to do that. I'm gonna do this all by myself. They don't really have a powerful. If they have, if they do have a powerful alliance, it's not gonna be right next to them, and I can easily just go in and go kill whatever alliance they have. Because right now, I'm gonna go take down Komoji and Adelisk. Take those two provinces right there, and then I have the entire White Sea underneath my control, which is exactly what we need to do. Okay, uh, I'm gonna split up my men. You guys go right there. Okay, and then split up them one more time. You guys go down there. Go kill these guys. 
Okay, they're just gonna move, then just stay right here. And I know I should be spreading my borders out more, but there's really no point. I mean, we're right here. And there's not really much else we have to do. And then, low maintenance! Oh no! Yeah, just support him a little bit. Okay. Let's see, Catholic faith, we're converting. Power to convert is probably not that strong because we don't really believe in the Catholic faith, but it's still good enough, I guess? Waste, waste wartime taxes? No. That would kill me. That would severely kill me. Okay, so let me just see that. Okay, let's just build some more modifiers of the of the uh, local market. Local market right here. Get that, and let me see who just texted me. Seriously, guys, don't text me when I'm... Uh, yeah, okay. My friend was just asking, okay, you guys really want to know, just personal life here, all my friend was asking was that if you wanted to go to a dance tonight, um, I said yes, and I'm going to a dance tonight. Yippee! Uh, even though those things aren't exactly fun, I'll go to it anyways. Okay, so we have a lot of revolt whisk, all these other what to do's it. Let's see, my war goal, my war exhaustion is just completely zero, so... That should not be... I should not have a too bad war exhaustion this time. Because right now I'm not really using my own troops. I have 12,000 reserves. That's pretty dang good. And we're just like sieging down his stuff. I mean, all we want are these two provinces. So once this is given to us, then we'll basically back down. Over here down in the Bohemia War for killing off Bohemia. Yeah, we're winning. Like, and then Burgundy... <laughs> Burgundy's just being torn apart right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Burgundy, you guys just got nailed. Just got nailed. Oh my goodness. Just wow. Just wow. Alright. Um, just have to wait a little bit. He's about to fall, guys. Don't worry. He's about to fall. And legitimacy is so good right now. Like, we are doing so well in this. Like, we're starting to actually getting good modifiers for how good we're doing in terms of legitimacy. Like, King Carling basically made an empire out of nothing. He was a, basically a low-life, no-goods guy who basically somehow took the throne and decided, you know what, I don't want to be a part of Denmark anymore. And he pro I'm guessing this guy was basically a, you know, low-life low uh, pig herder. And somehow he became the king of Sweden. May I add, he extended the empire from being, like, right about here to being, like, all the way over here. His main, I guess, his main contribution to his legacy is probably expanding our power and making Sweden one of the dominant, dominant countries in the world. Which we just conquered Abelisk, one of the countries they need to conquer. Once we conquer this right here, then I can just basically get a core on all this. Say, you guys give this to me, or I will keep fighting you. I'm gonna go send my army to no Novgorod so he knows I mean business. Mm-hmm. Man. Alright, and my troops, you have suffered unspecified casualties because the troops are combined, I know. Okay, I can get more production, wouldn't be, not, wouldn't be madding to get more production, okay, got this. Alright, Novgorod, what I'm going to do is going to be very, very mean. What you're going to do is give me both this and this, and as much money as you can spare. Oh my, sure, I can get a lot of money from this guy. Okay, just give me about 90k. There we go. <laughs> and there we go. The the sad war that I did just because I wanted more land. <laughs> oh my goodness. And now, no, look at Novgorod. It is just a shadow of its former self. It's been torn apart by both Sweden, the Virian Order, and Muscovy. But now I have to worry about Muscovy as one of my main rivals. Um, I'm going to already start coining this stuff. So we have to seriously get onto that immediately. I've realized that you have to really start coring immediately. And I th I'll record. No, I'll go to the end of the year. Whenever I'll go to like the half of the end of the year, and then we'll end this episode because that was a pretty awesome war right there. We just kind of like took everything and just like destroyed them. I mean, it wasn't even like a challenge really. Let's see. And how much men can we raise now? Fifteen. I'm not really reaching my force limit right now, am I? Okay, I'll record like. Let's see. What's that unit balance like right now? We need to get a lot more cavalry. Let's record like one, two, three. 
Okay, one, two. Okay, and we can do another. Let's build an army. Wait. Let's figure out where do we want an army? Because actually, I'm gonna build an army, guys. If you can believe it. Uh. Hmm. Don't want somewhere where I'd get constantly attacked. How about right here, on the small little island <laughs> that we usually never build up because it's usually pathetic. So. Yeah, right now, I'm going to keep these troops over here in this region until I get much more stable control. Because I'm guaranteeing this is where the most of the fighting is going to happen. If we are going to have rebellions, that's where most of the fighting is going to happen. Also, I'm also going to stop supporting my troops as much because we don't need support anymore. They're pretty much, they pretty much have it down. And now, over here in this trade node, we should have the benefit of the doubt. We are the dominant power in this region. We should be. Yep. Trade influence almost completely in our favor. Muscovy is the only person that slightly comes into our slightly comes into it, but we have most of the trade power over here. Um, over here we could get some more trade power. I know we could. We're stealing a lot of trade power from over here because it's just great. Over here, yeah, we we basically now own the White Sea. The White Sea trade, the White Sea trade node is ours. Not that it's very worth much, but it's still, we own a trade node. That is important right there. And with that, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Well, it's always good to be back, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2. Not Victoria 2, EU4. <laughs> Messed it up there, guys. Messed it up there. Uh, we are in EU4. We are playing as Sweden, and we have a small army over here just dealing with whatevs. It's just kind of a small army I built because I like small armies. So, right now we are seriously waking in the dough. We're about to get, we got a new technology even. Don't think I can upgrade yet. I think I could get cannons. No, you can't get cannons on this stage. You have to wait till 7. Then you can get cannons. But we are doing just great. I mean, everywhere we look, everywhere we go, we are just religious unity. It's always good to unite all your promises under one year. Yeah, we're about 88% all one thing. We have very little control over anything. We form desire, 37%. Tolerance towards heretics. We are very not tolerant towards anyone. Anyways, yeah, and basically our main new enemy, guys, is the gigantic and forming Muscovy. Muscovy is like the main threat right now of King Carling's empire to the east. While they are not as technologically advanced as us, like I'll show you guys, like, wait one second, wait one second, we're saving, okay, see? While they aren't exactly as technologically ad as advanced as us, they are still a threat nonetheless, which really is, you know, Adolf is leaving gain one mutualism. Oh man, I haven't even really, like, I haven't really, like, checked up on that. Hmm. Increased free trade, national spy defense. I have to, I have to look this up because I haven't really been, to be honest with you guys, I haven't really been checking up on the sliders that often because I've been like, Yahoo, country, yeah. So where are the sliders in this new game? And I know somebody's going to probably direct me in this, but I'm, hmm, technology, trade, economy, diplomacy, government. Feudal monarchy. I can go to a destaponic monarchy, which gives me unjustified demands, natural risk. Don't want to do that. Enlightened destapon despotism. Despotism. That's the word. Sorry, guys. I was re reading it wrong. Despotism. Um. See, I haven't really been messing with the modifiers that much in terms of like economics. Like, what do I want my government to be more? Probably would help me in the long run if I did, but... Rebels break country. Rebels and possible rebels. Base rebel risk. It's going down, which is good. Eh. I like the national trade modifier, but... Ah. Uh, it's leaving North Guard. Let me try that. 
Because I don't, I don't want to mess with any of my sliders right now. Because right now they're perfect. I have a good size Sweden. Sweden's now name is just like over here. I mean, it expanded basically all over there. Oh, man. Our expansion's pretty good right now. Our next target... Oh, my goodness. Dang it, Denmark United. So I'm waiting for this war to be over. It is over. Okay, so Denmark is our next target. One of my other friends is also playing EU4. Good job, man. Good job. Hope you see this episode and just laugh. Okay, so I think since all my allies are saying that they will join in on this war if I go to war with with our evil enemies of Denmark, we should... I have to start gaining cores on more of Denmark's stuff because we're going to have to fight them off pretty heavily. Teutonic Order... Uh, they don't look quite recovered yet. Neither do the Lithuanians. But my army is pretty much ready to go. It's ready to bat bash those Denmark heads. We need to destroy... By the way, we need to destroy Denmark before anything happens. And that was scary there for a second. Sometimes my door just closes on by itself. Because of wind pressure. And that was scary for a second. That really did scare me for a second. Let's see, you guys are only allied with Denmark. Why do you guys have to be allied with Denmark? Jesse, I'm recording. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. Alright. Uh, do, 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 do. Just have to see this. Teutonic Order. Man, the Teutonic Order. I feel like the Teutonic Order is going to be the new Prussians. Like, they're going to be able to form Prussia out of this. Because they have a pretty good start. They have conquered all this. Now I just need to... They need to start diving. If, if they were only a part of the uh, HRE, I would believe they would need to, like you know, start like forming, they could just start forming the HRE because they have a good chunk of it and it would be pretty powerful in advances. Anyways, um, right now we have, why are they in my land? Okay, weird. Okay, so, like I said, I'm not going to be dealing, when I go to war with them this episode, I'm not going to be dealing with any of these guys. Okay, because Okay, I have pretty much maximum relationships with those guys, so I can pretty much just stop this. Okay, but anyways, I'm just going to be dealing with mainly Denmark's army. Because Denmark's army is going to be... It's going to be... It's going to be giving me lots of trouble. Let's claim, let's claim. Can you guys still join in? Yes. Join in. Move our army right here to instantly block them. Whatever they're doing. Okay. But there's a specific reason why I want to do this. Okay, let's do that. Divide my army up. 10,000 should be able to deal with anything. Um, we could actually, if if no, if our evil counterparts, the uh, Norwegians, do try something, we could actually fight them. And now we're out of force summon right now. Dang. Um, all right, and we could raise a quick army too because we have enough mooks too. So, do I want to? I should go fight these guys. So I want to make sure they don't... I want to make sure we destroy all their army. That way we don't have any bad things happen to us. And John Lickland is, of course, in, in charge. He's been our general for years. I mean, there are two important people in this game at this point in Sweden's history of independence. There's been King Carling and John Lickland. They have both been great generals in their own right. They have successfully... Oh! Barnacles! I did not pay attention to that. Uh, you know, every time, that always happens, every single time, I'm not paying attention to the attack, and actually I need to get my troops back over there because, well, these guys have no morale, so I'm pretty sure I can just easily kill them, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're not doing that either. Let's just go right here. Alright, I'm just gonna move down the Skalane, because we, after I learned from my last episode, we... We want to make sure that we are in control of their land. Why are you moving all the way to Finland? Oh my goodness. I don't understand this army ever. Seriously. Right, well, I'm making sure no one else moves through the strait. But anyways, let's see. How many did we lose? Basically, we lost about 2k right there. Okay. We're going to have to wait for them to heal for a second. I do have enough manpower to deal with it. Okay, and let's see, are we supporting our military completely? No, we aren't. Oh, no wonder why. We also weren't supporting our military very much. Lucky me. And we almost have 18, we almost have enough to where I'll stop having militaristics. Like, I think in this world we could probably start, like, 
Oh, great, 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 great. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. No. No, 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 no. We don't want that to happen. Okay. I'm gonna split this up. Okay, go to. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to split this army up. You guys, can you guys beat them? They're gonna arrive the 6th. They're gonna arrive there the 8th. Damn it!